this way. Good girl. Nice loose leash. Never repositioning right with that leash. Always having her walk to my left side though. And if she's losing focus, I would just use a tree to regain it. Use a lot of verbal cues to let her know. Like, this way. Good girl. So she watches my body language that we're changing direction. Because I'll never use that leash to reposition her. If anything, I would pull out a tree and use that. Very good girl, right? Uh uh, easy. Give her heads up before she hits the end of that leash. Can you get that focus back? Good girl. But never using the leash to pull her back. Once I get slack in that leash, then we continue walking. We're gonna go buy another LML puppy here and see how she does. She may get a little distracted. They're doing some wheelchair work, so she's probably like, what's going on? She wants to check it out. Let her check it out, realize that it didn't bother her. Good girl. And then we recover quickly. This way. Good girl, Bright. This way. Good girl. Using those positive mark words that we've used through Bright's entire training. Just to keep assuring her she's doing a great job. Good girl, Bright. This way. Good girl. Uh -uh. Yes, good girl. Change direction on it this way. Yes, good girl. Ah, uh -uh, easy. I'm gonna try to get that focus back, and if not, I'm just gonna use a treat to do so because she sees people. She's very people oriented. Right. Yes, good girl. So take that tree right to my left side and just refocus her. Good girl. This way, bright. Good girl. This way. Good. Uh uh, this way. Using those verbal cues just to keep her to my left side. Good girl. Still letting Bright check things out even though we've been here before. Uh uh, easy. And the reason for that is because every time we go into the store, things have moved, things have changed. And the environment smells different from different people being here, different animals. So just trying to keep it a positive approach by letting her smell things so she's comfortable and confident in the environment. If I didn't let her smell things around us, then she would probably be a little bit more um, conscientious of the environment because she hasn't had a chance to smell that everything's okay. And it's really important with a young dog is making sure that they're comfortable and confident. This way, she sees that other LML puppy. Yes, good girl, using those noises to keep and handler focused. Good girl, Bright. But again, always nice loose leash. She blows on front of me, I tell her, ah, uh, easy, and we stop walking, because I don't want to feed into that point of behavior. If my sound effects do not cue in that handler focus, I'll take a treat and bring her back to my left side, but I'll never pull her back. Always just keeping that positive approach. She is actually a very confident puppy. She's very outgoing, very people-oriented. She does great on our weekly trips to the schools and those loud, crazy environments. Uh uh, leave it. That's bird poop. I just don't want her eating it. Um, those loud, crazy environments don't bother her one bit. She is very food motivated. Just want to pick up that little excess saddle. Uh uh, leave it. Good girl. And then she left it. Using a positive, exciting tone of voice. Yes, good girl. I'm just going to reward some good behavior. So here we have Bright at Lowe's. And she's doing great with all her training. So I'm going to get her attention. Tell her sit. Good girl. We'll do one more sit. I'm going to finish that treat. Sit. Good girl. Great job. She's doing really great. Good girl. Right. Taking out a reflection. Good girl. This way. This 
way. This way. Good girl. Easy, good girl. This way. This way, boy. This way. Uh-uh, easy. This way. Very good girl. So here we have Bright and we are at Lowe's. She's doing great as always. Bright, despite her size, is one of our older kind of training pups. She's staying back for potential guardian program. So um, she's doing really great with everything this way. And even though she's been here a while, or not a while, I should say many times before now, I want to make sure that she's still able to be desensitized to new things. Because even though we come to stores like this regularly, things about them change quite often. So letting her check out the new setups, new scents and smells, other things have been in here since our last time here. Uh -uh, easy. Give her a heads up. Wait for that slack and leash. Just like that. Good girl this way. Good job. Good girl, Brittany. One hundred. Thank you. This way, Bright. Good girl. Mr. Jim, quickie question. Good girl. She's doing really great with all of her training. Uh -uh. Easy. We like to keep strengthening it and continuing to make it stronger and stronger. This way, Bright. Using that term this way when I'm trying to cue in that focus. Nice loose leash, though. This way, Bright. I was looking at, um... Let's go, this way. Good girl. Nice, loose leash. I still need to let her check things out, even though she's been here a million times before, and even though she is one of our older training pups, because she is about 22 weeks now, I still like to make sure she checks everything out. Uh-uh, leave it. Good girl. This way. 